On April 2nd, 1931, a 17-year-old Southpaw struck out two of the greatest baseball players of all time. Oh, and by the way, the pitcher was a girl. Jackie Mitchell was born in 1914 and passed in 1987. She grew up in Memphis, where her parents encouraged all her passions. So she played basketball, tennis, was a swimmer, and by the time she was nine years old, she was on the mound striking out the boys in the neighborhood. Sources say she learned to pitch from the family's next-door neighbor, Charles Dazzy Vance. He'd done a couple of things, like being the star strikeout pitcher for the Brooklyn Dodgers and later being inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. You know, nothing real major. <laughs> he told Jackie that she could be as great a pitcher as she wanted, if she was willing to put in the work. Well, she was. Her trademark pitch was a drop ball, what folks nowadays call a sinker. It's usually one of a pitcher's fastest balls, and it's supposed to shut down home runs by forcing a grounder. So they throw the pitch, and right before home plate, it kind of drops in and pisses off the batter, which they didn't like, <laughs> especially the ones who were really well known for their home runs. So in 1931, Jackie was 17. She was at a training camp in Georgia with her all-women's team. A guy called Joe Engel was also there. He owned a minor league baseball team, a men's minor league baseball team, and he really liked the look of her sinker. Not long after, she signed a contract with his Chattanooga Lookouts. That made her the second woman ever to sign a professional baseball contract. At the time, exhibition games were pretty common between major and minor league teams. So Engel arranged one. Jackie was slated to take the mound with the Lookouts on April 1st, 1931 against the New York Yankees. Well, the game was called for rain, but rescheduled for the next day. An estimated 4,000 fans turned out. The lookouts did not start Jackie, but she was called in after the starter gave up two hits back to back. So now the Yankees had two men on and Jackie was up against a batter who went on to score 46 home runs that season and 714 lifetime. George Herman Ruth Jr., the babe. The southpaw pitching against the southpaw. And her sidearm sinker made him regret leaving the dugout because she shut him down in three pitches. Two strikes swinging, one called on the outside corner. He got pissed, threw down his bat, and stomped off the field. Poor little baby. I mean, babe. Jackie Mitchell had just struck out one of the greatest batters of all time. Yeah, but then the very next batter to step up to the plate hit a career 493 home runs, held the record for most grand slams in a career until 2013. He also established the record of playing 2,130 consecutive professional baseball games. Lou the Iron Horse Gehrig took a couple practice swings, but he was no better match for Jackie. He went down swinging three straight breaking balls. She walked the third batter she faced, then got pulled so they could send the starter back in. The lookouts ultimately lost to the Yankees 14-4. Most folks don't remember that score, but they sure do remember her. Woohoo! Yeehaw! Yippee dippy! A girl showing the guys how it's done, right? Yeah, except just a few days later, her contract was voided. The reason? Misogyny. Baseball is too strenuous for women. <sighs> she went on to play for Engel's other team. A women's team. The junior lookouts. She barnstormed with them for the rest of the 1931 season and part of 1932. Then she signed with the well-known and bearded House of David Nine. They promoted her as the famous girl pitcher, but she retired from baseball in 1937 and went to work with her dad. In the 1940s, she was approached by the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League. She declined their offer and lived out the rest of her life in Georgia. There's a historical marker honoring her in Chattanooga. In 2017, she was honored with a limited edition bobblehead. Come on, that's fucking awesome. And you too can have one for the low, low price of two to three hundred dollars. <laughs> I love baseball, but not that much. Man, I buttoned that one up real nice, didn't I? Actually, no. See, she had an incredible arm. But plenty of folks wanted to claim that her time on the mound that day was staged. At the time, club owners would do just about anything for publicity. You know, because Great Depression. Can't have a team if you don't have asses on the bleachers. Engel, the one that signed Jackie, he was really well known for finding off-the-wall ways to promote. Some of his stunts included an elephant hunt in the outfield for spectators. Don't worry, they were papier-mâché. 
the elephants, not the spectators. He also once traded a player for a turkey. Then he cooked the turkey and served it to reporters. Yeah, I got nothing. So doubters were quick to latch onto that. They claimed Ruth and Garrick intentionally struck out for the publicity. I call bullshit. Not only did Jackie go to her grave insisting that it was real, but let's also consider the men she struck out that never wavered in saying, yeah, she got us. The babe was a known womanizer. You know, a man's man. The pinnacle of misogyny. I couldn't find any reality where he would be okay with a woman making him look bad at home plate. But it's not just that with him. Yeah, he hit a lot of home runs, but he also struck out a fuck of a lot. From what I read about the Iron Horse, he was a serious player who would never have willingly struck out, even against a girl. Historians largely agree that the Yankees manager of the time, Joe McCarthy, was too fucking competitive to agree to a staged strikeout, let alone two. Finally, we cannot forget the time period. And attitudes toward women. For example, how many photos have you seen of men playing baseball powdering their nose? Papers literally asked her to do that. A newspaper columnist of the time wrote, The curves won't be all on the ball. Appearance over ability. Am I right, ladies? <sighs> the babe was quoted in a newspaper article the day before the game. I don't know what's going to happen if they begin to allow women in the game. They're too delicate. It would unalive them to play ball every day. The fuck? There's also a really simple thing worth pointing out. Woman or man, doesn't matter. A lot of pitchers do great the first time they face a new batter. But the second time? Not necessarily so much. Neither of those Yankees had ever hit one of her pitches. At worst, it might have been a fluke. Twice. But she didn't get to face them again. So, nobody knows. Anyway, then and now, there are people who refuse to believe her. Even though men corroborated. Regardless of what you want to believe... It is indisputable that Jackie Mitchell struck out two of the most significant batters the game has ever seen. Not bad for just a girl.